Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are going to be talking about how to save and fix Battlefield 2042, make it a game people actually want to play. Now, there's a few things that just need to be completely taken out of the game and repaired. The one is the specialist system, second is the UI, third are the maps, and finally is hazard zone. There's a lot more minute details that can be fixed but i just wanted to focus on that and on top of that before i go into those four things the first thing that dice needs to do right now and ea is an apology letter to say they stuffed up which is a hard thing to do yes and it will probably never be done but it's the right thing to do if they can tell us they stuffed up and they're going to work on fixing it then there is hope va i don't think they will unfortunately fixing the UI, I, I just, it's just, it doesn't work for me and it just feels like a big open space of uselessness and the loading screens are useless to me, I mean there's not even a map, like a nice smooth map, I don't know why, but in this game they decided to make this really bulky dodgy map that when I open it's like, no it just, it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel like a battlefield map. <laughs> The ending screen when you have the specialist standing up also needs to just be removed. You don't need that. That's just Call of Duty 2. I don't want Call of Duty in Battlefield. Alright, so UI. I'm not going to focus too much on that because I'm not very well educated in that area. The next, the specialist system. Now, I understand a lot of work has gone into these specialists. So, I'm not telling you to throw them out the window. My actual proposal would be for you to bring back the class system choose two or three of the choose like two of the specialist abilities and put that in the classes one and what you can do is as a sign of good faith you can use those specialists and you can make them as optional skins and you can make characters and sell them on the store that's what you can do just like your elites in battlefield 5 but you also have military sim skins i think that's a perfect balance if you want to be one of those characters go ahead and do it but most of us don't want to and then, even to add on that, I would add an option to turn off skins. If you're playing and you want to feel like you're a soldier and don't have, you know, random people walking around, turn the option to mill sim only. I think that would be pretty sick. Then you can be a little bit more creative with your skins also. The win-win, I think. I feel like it's a win-win. As a zone. Mm. As a zone is the bane of my existence. I played a few games and I was bored. I would rip Hazard Zone out right now. Promise that it will come back, but you need to work so much more on that mode. It is so undercooked, unfinished. I have two options for you, Dice. You can work on it, or you can bring back operations. I'll forgive you if you bring back operations. That will be more valued to everyone than Hazard Zone. So if you bring back operations, that's where you can add your story. That's where the story and the lore can come in, not in breakthrough. But in operations, I think it's a win-win. If you want to push your law, you can do that in operations. You can have groups, I don't know, a cutscene of them talking for a little bit, planning their attack or something like that. Kind of like what the narrator does in Battlefield 1. Like that. That would be a good switch. Or I want you to redo as a zone, bring some meaningful long-term progression into it. Whether that's like a skill tree where you can slowly upgrade your characters or if that's changing the whole meaning of the mode then do it finally you need to rework your maps so what i would do is just start it's not too complicated you don't have to add too much you need to add a lot more objects and buildings all right you need to add a lot more buildings to your maps a lot more objects for cover because right now they're just open and they're just made for vehicles and not everyone wants to play vehicles now just a quick extra one i wanted to add was for portal i feel like the Devs need to put more effort into it, specifically with the set playlist. I want to see what is possible with Portal, and maybe they can open it a little bit more. They can open the engine so you can tweak things, edit maps. I know that means they have to open the engine to people, but I reckon that would be very sick if they were able to do that. That would be a massive bonus to the Portal experience if people could make custom maps. Now, as much as I would love to say I want to see Levolution and Destruction, it's not going to happen. I pray to god that that happens in the next game, I don't want to see a hero shooter, but these were just a few things that I reckon Battlefield 2042 could do to make the game a hell of a lot better. 
Well, you might say the game is completely broken, others might say it's perfect. I'm in the middle, I reckon can improve. There's a lot, I mean a lot of issues, but if they make the right decisions and they actually announce their intention to fix the game, I will support them. My problem is when they don't apologize, don't say anything, and then they go, hey, look, we're going to bring this back because we believe it's the smartest decision because we're geniuses. And it's like the whole community is just hated on you. You think you could say something instead of thinking that to keep the stock and the shareholders confident in you that you came up with the idea. So just be the bigger people, EA and DICE. Apologize. Say you're going to fix some things. And I reckon when you come out with an update, then you'll actually get more players back because under 7,000... What, we're heading on a month since the game's launch. Two months, sorry. We're heading on two months of the game's launch, and that's really unimpressive. I mean, Battlefield 5 is outperforming you. So, that's my open letter to you, Dice. To anyone watching this video, what else do you think they could do? Be slightly realistic. I'm already being over hoping. Just <laughs> I'm hoping. But try and think of one thing realistic that you'd like to see, and maybe one thing unrealistic. That you would love to see come to battlefield 2042 thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time peace